I am Anil Kumar. Now it is time to practice some questions from the test paper. So I picked up a question from IB statistics test paper. Let's look into this in details. The question here is Household in Portugal spends an average of 100 euro per week on groceries with a standard deviation of 20 euro. Assume the distribution of grocery expenditure is a normal distribution. What is the probability of a household spending? And these are three different questions based on the information. Spending less than 130 euro per week, more than 90 euro per week, between 70 to 110 euro per week. So that's for a test question. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's kind of sketch the scenario and then we'll answer these questions one by one. Since it's a normal distribution, we could say it's kind of like this, where the mean is given to us as 100. So this is 100 for us. Let me write 100 in the center. Standard deviation of 20, so, so we have 120 and 80. So those are the standard deviations away from the mean. Now it says, assuming the distribution of grocery expenditure is a normal distribution, what is the probability of a household spending less than 130 euros per week, right? So less than 130 euros per week is, this is 120, so we are looking for something like this so this is what we are looking for so probability is going to be more than 50 percent as you can see and it's actually beyond the first standard deviation <coughs> correct so you can expect a large number here as percentage right so let's find out how to find this so we are looking for probability where the random variable is less than 130 right this is what we are looking for so first step is to convert into z scores so that we could use the standardized tables so let's convert that to z scores we say less than 130 100 is our mean so we do 130 minus 100 divided by 20 right so that is what it is which is equal to probability for z score let me write this as a z score z score to be less than calculate 30 divided by 20 let me write on 30 divided by 20 in decimals 1.5 so z score less than 1.5 so 1.5 1.50 in fact okay so 1.5 5 is 0 0.933 933 right? so that is 93.3% okay? so that's the answer <coughs> now let's look into the second part which is more than 90 per euro so more than 90 means kind of here right so now we are looking for the right side. We are looking for this side. More than 90. The table which we have is for less than. So therefore, we can write this as, let me use, okay, that's fine. So probability for expenditure to be more than 90 could be treated as, so the total area we know is 1. So we could do 1 minus probability for x less than 90 right it is same thing to use the table we have to standardize it so we could say this is 1 minus probability where the z score is less than so it is 90 minus 100 which is the mean divided by 20 the standard deviation correct that is 1 minus for z score we are looking for now minus what okay let's use the calculator so it's minus 10 by 20 so which is okay so i just did 10 by 20 is 0 
so we'll do minus 0 0.5 is it okay so that is what it is so minus 0.5 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 0 0 and 0 0.5 gives us uh, the value which is 0 0.48 0 0.48 so it is 1 minus 0 0.48 right so that is the value so on less side so let's do this which is 1 minus 0 0.48 equals to in decimals is equals to 0 0.52 right <coughs> wrong value this is the wrong answer 0 0.5 so when we say 0 0.5 I read a wrong value sorry for that 0 0.5 is here 0 0.5 is 0 0.30854, 0 0.308, let me write, sorry, this is 0 0.308. Okay, yeah, because that is 100%, so this was definitely wrong, okay? So I read a wrong value, so let's correct this. So it is uh, 1 minus 0 0.308, which gives us, in decimals now it makes more sense 0 0.692 so so that is that is the answer which we get so more than 90 percent that means on the right side of this right more than 90 percent is 69.2 percent right it makes sense okay earlier I wrote read wrong for 0 0.5 now the part C here is between 70 to 110 euro. So again, you follow the same procedure. So you have to convert these scores into Z scores. So we'll do first convert them into Z scores. So we have 70 minus 100 divided by 20. So that is a Z score for, for 70, right? So that is equal to 70 minus 100 divided by 20 equals to in decimals minus 1.5 and similarly we'll convert the z score for 110 which is 110 minus 100 divided by 20 so which is 10 divided by 20 or plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is it okay so we are looking for those z scores well uh, in actual diagram, it is 70 and 110. 70 will be uh, slightly because this point is uh, 80. So 70 will be kind of here, right? And 110 is right there at... Uh, so this is 120. 110 will be kind of here. So we are looking for now probability between expenditure between that limit. Is that okay? That is what we are looking for. So what we did was we found the z-scores. So once you translate this to standard tables, then we could write this as, there's less space, so I just squeeze it in. So we're looking for probability for between 70 to 110, which translates to probability for z-scores to be between minus 1.5 to 0 0.5 correct that is what it is so between these two so what we'll do here is we'll see what is the area on the left side of 0.5 so we'll say what is the area for left side of 0.5 and we'll take away the area on the left side for for this point which is minus 1.5 right which is minus 1.5 so that's the whole idea so, so we can read these values from the table and then find the answer. That's, that's the thing, right? So let's do it. So this time it is uh, 0.5 again with positive number. So 0.5 with positive is 0.691. So we'll write this as equals to 0 0.691 minus minus 1.5 minus 1.5 is 
minus 1.5 minus 1.5 is 0 0.1468 0.1468 okay we just wrong that one okay doesn't matter so we'll do this we get 0 0.691 take away 0 0.1468 equals to in decimals 0 0.5442 right so that is what we get so it is around 54 0.4 percent so that is the answer 54.4 percent so that is how actually you could solve such questions translating your information rather it is translating to z scores and then using the z score tables to calculate i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best